Again, if I were doing the problem, I would just simply factor it as it is written. And it's written, I see the 77, and I see the x squared in the end. So I'm going to say the end is x and x. And then I'm looking at the 77, and I'm kind of wondering what two numbers would multiply together to be 77. And I'll write this over here. Now, by the way, what's nice about 77, although some people say it's a big number, it has virtually no choice. I mean, I could try this, or I could try this. I gotta be honest with you, the one times 77 doesn't look likely. So I'm gonna put seven and 11 down, all right? Let me get my eraser out, because I don't need this anymore. I'm just saying likely now, it has to do with seven and 11. And you know, furthermore, I'm looking at the four in the middle, and it has something to do with 77, I'm sorry, 711. It's a difference of those two numbers. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. And someone's, how would you do that? Well, if you're clueless, just put something down and try it. Let's see what happens. 77, that's not so bad. Then what do you get? 7x minus 11x minus x squared. Does that work? It does. You get 77. And if you took 7x minus 11x, you get minus 4x, and you get minus x squared. So this is an answer. All right? Let me get my eraser out, and let me talk about what some other people do. All right? Again, don't think one way is better than another. It's not. It's your way of going about the problem. What some people do, believe it or not, is they try to write them so they always look the same. That is, the x squared's in front with a positive coefficient. So what they do is they factor out a minus 1. And what do they get? x squared plus 4x minus 77. Right, that's the same thing that's written over here. Now, why would they do that? Well, they find it easier. That's why they did it. You shouldn't be doing things unless you find them easier. So again, if I use that trial and error method, what do you get? Yeah, I'm still getting the same number, 7 and 11. All right? And then what do you get there? Let's take a look at it. Yeah, x times x is x squared. Uh, 7 times 11 is 77. So it looks like this over here. Let me just try it. What do you get? x squared, 11 minus 7 is 4. That looks pretty good. It looks good. All right, so I'm going to say this is a good answer over here. Another good answer. Now, I realize sometimes it says, that's different than your answer that you originally gave me. It's not any different, all right? I want to point out why it's not any different from that. If you were to associate the minus 1 with the first factor, this x minus 7 factor, what would you get? You would get 7 minus x, x plus 11. You should realize that x plus 11 it, it's an addition, it's commutative. You could also write down 11 plus x. It's the same answer. All right, so I'm gonna say that's one thing you could have done. You could have also used what Wells does, which to me is the same thing as trial and error. You can come up with the trial in order to do it. I'm gonna erase this over here though. And I wanna talk about what Wells does. All right. And again, it really kind of relies upon your ability to see these things in the same light each time. All right. Yes, there is a pattern if you can see everything in the same light each time. And that looks like this over here. Now, by the way, that does not have to be done. Whoops, I made a mistake already. But I'm going to say, if you see the same pattern over and over again, it's pretty hard not to recognize the pattern. So I'm looking at this now. What am I looking at? 77. I'm looking at a product of two numbers such that the sum of those two numbers would equal minus 4. Again, it, it, we're kind of beating this thing to death. Certainly 7 and 11 minus 11. 7 minus 11 would give you minus 4. And then they split it up. Same factorization. It's not going to be any different. All right? But again, you, you decide how you want to go about the problem. I kind of like trial and error because I find it so much easier to deal with. Less writing, put things down. It gives me an opportunity to also think, uh, and thinking is probably more important than just recognizing a, a generalized pattern. All right, thank you.